Hey, welcome back to Hobbies with Jose. I'm Jose Carbajal. And today we've got part three of our, I don't know, 37 part series of customized Studio Series Shatter. Get ready. Thanks for joining me again, everyone. So what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna to take apart once again our shatter figure, more than likely for the last time here, just to get her ready for paint. And I've got a lot of the tools laid out here that we're gonna be using, mainly our styrofoam board to put the pieces on top of. Different size masking tapes from Tamiya. We have our tweezers, we have our side cutters, some toothpicks, and some poster putty here that we're gonna be using to attach some of the pieces onto the toothpicks there. And also, most importantly, some iced coffee to keep us energized, preferably with hazelnut creamer there. Now, as we're getting our pieces ready to paint, there's gonna be some sections that we don't wanna get any paint on, namely on the joints, so that they don't get extra tight on us, and that's what we're gonna be using our masking tape mostly. And that's the main reason why I wasn't able to glue this black piece onto the back, because it's actually gonna get in the way of me reattaching her head afterwards. So, we're gonna go ahead and get some masking tape around her ball joint at the bottom so we can avoid getting paint on that, and onto the other pieces as well. Now I'm gonna use something different to attach her to the styrofoam board. And that's my alligator clips that I got here. We'll just use a little piece of the poster putty here. And on the back side or the inside section of this back piece, we're gonna just add it onto here. I'm gonna cut off the end of the toothpick just so I don't get the pointy end on there. And I'll just stick this on right to the back. So that's ready. For the shoulder piece, I think I'm going to add some more poster putty on the inside just to protect the joint again. And for the rest of the arm, we're gonna mask out this top piece, try to avoid getting paint on it since it's gonna be a joint for the shoulder. And more than likely attach that to another alligator clip. That one's all set. Gonna separate our top pieces again here. And I think we'll be able to attach these with some toothpicks.
That should stay on there pretty good. And for the bottom leg, I'm going to go ahead and mask out this top piece and use another alligator clip there. We'll go ahead and take our chest piece back off here. And I think we should be able to put a toothpick in the back there. And for the main body unit, we're going to go ahead and mask off her ball joints. And it's definitely going to be too big for a toothpick, so I'll more than likely use some alligator clips. Maybe if you throw this loop here, I think it'll fit nicely inside there. Yeah, it fits pretty good. Now, as for her wing section, these are going to be a little bit tricky because the majority, pretty much all of it, is going to be painted, but I do want to avoid getting paint on the parts that are going to actually be glued, so I can glue on to the plastic itself instead of having to file out the paint. So I think I'm going to mask off this little section here in the front. Part of this bottom section is going to be glued as well, but I won't worry about that for right now. And I'll use another alligator clip to get it onto the board here. That should work pretty good. And for her weapons, I can easily enough get another toothpick inside of there with some more poster putty. All right, and now that we have all of our pieces mounted, we're ready to paint. Main event, guys. All right, I've got my airbrush booth set up along with my airbrush, and I'm gonna be using Vallejo Surface Primer. I've used it in the past, it's worked out pretty good for me, and I'll be using also the airbrush flow and prove a little bit of this to help it along the way as well. And we're ready to go.
now have a good coat of primer on our pieces. I'm going to let these dry for about a day and we'll come back tomorrow and I'll start adding some color to them. All right, so our primer paint is now completely dry. We're going to start putting some color onto them and I've got some paints here that I'm going to be using. I've got Tamiya PS2 Red. It's a little over half a can, so I'm hoping it's going to be enough. If not, I've got some other paints that are, are red, but it's another brand, so it might not match exactly. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I think this should be enough. And I've got some Tamiya TS42 Light Gun Metal for the, uh, for the robotic parts. And I've got another full one, so I know there's going to be more than enough here. And for the jet parts, mainly the wings and parts of the legs, I've got Testers 1226 Flat Dark aircraft gray that should work, work good for those flat parts there so i'm gonna actually put these into hot water to warm up the paints help them to flow better and we'll get that process started And that's a coat of paint that we've gotten onto the pieces here. First layer of color. I'm going to let these dry off for about another day or so, but that's where we're going to end today's episode. On the next one, we're going to start painting in some of the more finer details onto the pieces. And we're going to get her coming together here. But so far, so good. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, I've got to get some breakfast going here because I'm starving, but thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you like what you saw, go ahead and feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when the next one comes up. And any questions, comments you might have, feel free to leave them in the section below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all soon.